The idea that the Earth is flat, rather than a spherical shape, is a theory that has been around for centuries. Although it was largely dismissed by scientists and scholars after the 3rd century BCE, it has had a resurgence in recent years among certain groups, particularly within the realm of conspiracy theories. The ancient Greeks were some of the first to suggest that the Earth was a sphere. And this idea was eventually accepted by astronomers and scholars across the globe. However, there were still some holdouts, particularly among religious fundamentalists who believed that the Bible suggested the Earth was flat. In the 19th century, a religious group known as the Flat Earth Society was founded, and it continued to advocate for the idea of a flat Earth well into the 20th century. The society claimed that the Earth was a flat disk surrounded by a wall of ice, and that the Sun and Moon were both only a few thousand miles away from the Earth. Despite widespread scientific evidence supporting the idea that the Earth is a sphere, the theory of a flat Earth has experienced a resurgence in popularity in recent years particularly through the use of social media and online communities. Proponents of the theory argue that the Earth appears flat to the naked eye, and that the evidence of a curved horizon is simply an optical illusion. Many Flat Earth believers also argue that the evidence for a spherical Earth is part of a vast global conspiracy, involving governments, scientists, and other powerful entities who seek to keep the true nature of the Earth hidden from the public. However, scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports the idea that the Earth is a sphere. This evidence includes satellite imagery, global positioning system, GPS, technology, and observations of the curvature of the Earth from high-altitude flights and space travel. Additionally, the way gravity operates and the fact that objects fall towards the center of the Earth also supports the idea of a spherical planet. While the flat Earth theory may seem harmless on the surface, it can have serious consequences. Belief in the flat Earth theory can lead to a distrust of science, the spread of misinformation, and a rejection of established scientific facts. It can also fuel conspiracy theories and a general mistrust of established institutions. Lied so much, NASA's lied so goddamn much that I don't believe shit I, they I see say. Got... What's that frozen moon? Oh, let me see if that's you... CGI. Find that frozen... <laughs> they got a picture of a frozen fucking moon? I guarantee you it's CGI. It is important to remember that scientific knowledge and theories are not set in stone. and that they can evolve and change as new evidence emerges. However, the idea of a flat Earth has been thoroughly debunked by science and should not be taken seriously as a viable theory. Here is a map of ancient Egypt. I've inserted two sticks or obelisks, one up here in Alexandria and one down here in Syene. Now, if at a certain moment, each stick casts no shadow, no shadow at all, that's perfectly easy to understand, provided the Earth is flat. If the shadow at Syene is at a certain length, and the shadow at Alexandria is the same length, 
That also makes sense, on a flat Earth. But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant, there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Not only that, but the greater the curvature, the bigger the difference in the lengths of the shadows. The sun is so far away that its rays are parallel when they reach the Earth. Sticks at different angles to the sun's rays will cast shadows of different lengths. For the observed difference in the shadow lengths, the distance between Alexandria and Syene had to be about seven degrees along the surface of the Earth. By that I mean, if you imagine these sticks extending all the way down to the center of the Earth, they would there intersect at an angle of about seven degrees. Well, seven degrees is something like a fiftieth of the full circumference of the Earth, 360 degrees. Eratosthenes knew the distance between Alexandria and Syene. He knew it was 800 kilometers. Why? Because he hired a man to pace out the entire distance so that he could perform the calculation I'm talking about. Now, 800 kilometers times 50 is 40,000 kilometers. So that must be the circumference of the Earth. That's how far it is to go once around the Earth. That's the right answer. Eratosthenes' only tools were sticks, eyes, feet, and brains, plus a zest for experiment. The Earth is a spherical planet, and we should continue to explore and learn more about our world based on this established fact. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.